so uh, open up Notepad. And the first thing that we want to do is type at echo off. Uh, in this batch file, I'm just going to write a basic one that says hello and then press on the key to continue and then goodbye and then it says press on the key to continue and it says and then when you press any key it closes. So um um at echo off makes the program hide the way it works. So um I'll just well, I'll just go to the next step and show you, talk more about that after. Echo, um, it basically prints right into the screen. So, hello user, and then I can go pause. Now, what pause does is it makes it makes the program have a pause, so you don't press anything. And it just says press any key to continue. And then I'll go echo um, by user. And then pause. And after that, I could go end if I want. Um, but it would have the same effect as just having pause on the end. So once we've done that, we call it, just call it anything dot bat. And then when it loads, it'll look like hello user, press any key to continue, by user, press any key to continue, and then it closes. In fact, we should probably take that end out. Um, we can, if it looks too bunched up, we can have it have space lines in between each word. So if we run it, it says hello user, and then here it's got a spare line where there's no text. And then, yeah. But um, if we didn't have at echo off, it would look like that. Echo, hello user, and then hello user. Um, desktop echo dot, desktop pause. Um, press any key to continue, and then echo, echo by user, by user, echo dot, press any key to continue. And so, it's that uh, against echo. Um, So that's the difference. It just shows you this is the program all by itself, and this is the program without the at echo off at the top. And if we had the program without the at on it, it would show the program as echo off, and then it would show it without rest of the programming. So that's why we have the at symbol to make echo off fly to itself. And that's the tutorial about making a batch file. Uh, I might be able to make another video about pranking someone with a batch file. Um, if you've got any questions, just send me an email to grady at gradyspodcasts.zznn.com or visit my website. Thanks for watching.